it's the Coco vs. Book of Life spinning wheel game. Who's going to be the winner? Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. Today we have two awesome movies competing against each other in a battle for the spinning wheel game. It's the Coco movie versus the Book of Life. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have seen both movies. Our contestants for the Coco team are Miguel, Hector, Mama Imelda, Ernesto de la Cruz, and of course Miguel's best bud, Dante. On the Book of Life team we have Manolo, Joaquin, Maria, La Muerte, and Zibaba. So here's how our spinning wheel game works. For those of you who are new to our spinning wheel game, whoever lands on our spinning wheel, we're gonna take our trusty little hammer and pop that circle out to reveal what surprises they have. So right now's the time for you guys to vote which team you're rooting for. Are you on Team Coco or are you on Team Book of Life? It's round number one. Let's see who will be the winner. Time to spin the wheel. Oh, and the first point goes to Team Coco. We landed on Hector. Hector is pretty famous for writing a song that he did not get credit for. If you remember what that song is, leave it in the comment section. Let's see what he's brought us. One, two, and a three. Oh, looks like Hector's brought us a Avengers Mashem. And I feel something else in here. What else did Hector bring us? Oh, it's a Coco Mystery Mini. All right, so let's get inside this Mystery Mini first. Here are all of the ones we can collect. That would be pretty cool if we get Hector on Hector's Circle. Here's our mystery black bag. We don't know what's on the inside. It's completely hidden. Whoa, we got Hector on Hector Circle. Remember guys, I'm not famous for a very popular song, so leave it in the comments so I can get credit for that song. Now it's time to get inside our Avengers Mashem. Let's see what we got. Let's pop the top. Oh, they come wrapped up now. It's Iron Man, pretty cool. Let's give him a squish, squish. Ooh, and another squish, squish. He is pretty squishy. On the squishiness, I would give him a 10. Ooh, and we also get a collector's guide now in our mashems. We have Iron Man from series four. And check out all of the other ones that we can get. We can even get some Pac-Man ones. That is pretty cool. It's round number two, time to spin that wheel. Wow, we landed on Manolo. It's the first point for Team Book of Life. All right, Book of Life fans, Manolo was tricked in the movie by somebody. Leave in the comment section if you know who he was tricked by. Here we go, let's see what Manolo brought us. One, two, and three. Manolo brought us an Incredibles 2 mystery mini. Okay, so let's check out who we can get. I really want the flaming Jack-Jack. So let's see if we got him. We're doing pretty good so far. If we get him in this bag, we will be on a roll. Nope, it's Mr. Incredible, Jack-Jack's papa. I think it's the perfect time to get that scoreboard up. We got one point for Team Coco and one point for Team Book of Life. Now, both of these movies are really, really awesome and I love both of them. They're actually pretty similar if you guys have watched both movies. Here's a little extra way that you guys can get in on the fun. Let me know in the comment section the similarities between both of the movies. That should be really fun because they have a lot of similarities. Let's spin that wheel for round number three. Ooh, and we landed on Ernesto de la Cruz. Let's see what Ernesto has brought us. One, two, and three. Okay, so we have a Coco's Collectibles blind bag, and we also have a super squishy Justice League mashem. Let's get inside this Collectibles first and see if we've got Ernesto in here. Nope, we got the MC. She actually has a pretty small role in Coco and she introduces the talent show. All right, which Justice League mashem do we get? 
pop the top. I like how these are wrapped in these plastics now. Oh, we got Batman. Oh, it keeps them clean, clean. Oh, as you guys can see, we got some glitter sticking on Batman. I don't like glitter. I'm Batman. Let's give him a squish. Whoa, he's super squishy and also really sticky. That's probably why they have the plastic on him. Really, really sticky and squishy. Definitely a 10 for squishiness. It's time to spin the wheel again. We landed on Joaquin from the Book of Life. Ah, oh, Joaquin, the village hero. But he has a secret. He has a special gift that helps him be the village hero. Let me know in the comment section if you know what that gift was and who gave it to him. Time to see what Joaquin brought us. One, two, three. Okay, we've got a cake pop cutie. And what else? Ooh, we have an Incredibles 2 blind box. Okay, so let's get inside this Cake Pop cutie first. Here's our yummy, yummy Cake Pop. Let's open it on up. And who did we get? Aw, oh, it's a super cute little squishy. It looks like it's a turtle. And maybe it's got like some type of cake on the back. Plus, our little Cake Pop cutie comes with a chocolate chip cookie. And the chocolate chips are actually shaped as hearts. Pretty, pretty cool. And she's really soft and slow rise. Let's check out who she is with this collector's guide. So this is Cake Pop Cutie Series 1. And we've got Tortel or Tartel. And here's the sweetie section. Here goes her chocolate chip cookie. Now let's get inside this Incredibles blind box. And who do we have again? It's Frozone. He's a duplicate for us. He has some really awesome ice powers. It's time to get that scoreboard up. We've got two points for Book of Life and two points for Coco. Let's see who breaks the tie this round. Oh, we landed on Maria. Now, Maria is the love interest of both Joaquin and Manolo. And even though they're best friends, they are both willing to fight for her. Time to see what Maria's brought us. One, two, and a three. Ooh, looks like Maria's brought us a Series 3 Wave 2 LOL surprise ball. Wait a minute. What is that? Something's falling from the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> Oh, nope, it's Maria from the Book of Life. We got a Funko Pop version of Maria. And here are all the other ones we can collect. We got Manolo, Zibaba, and La Muerte. First off, let's get inside this Maria Funko Pop. Oh, how cool she comes with a doll stand. And it looks like maybe some of her paint kind of came off on the doll stand. And here goes Maria. Let's get her on there. And here she is. Check out her beautiful hair. It's just as pretty as it is in the movie. And she's got such a cute little face. It's classic Funko Pop eyes. She's got her Maria outfit on and she's got a sword. Really, really cute. Now it's time to get into our LOL surprise ball. Wonder who we'll get. Okay, so our secret message is pumping iron. Our ring tattoo is a soccer ball. So it tells me that we've probably got someone from the athletic club. All right, so first compartment, we have nothing in there. And that's actually been happening to me a lot with this series. So let's check out this area. And here goes our first bag. Our next bag. And here is the zip ribbon to our confetti popper. So we flip it upside down and we're about ready to confetti pop. One, two, and a confetti pop. We've got confetti everywhere. Okay, so let's get into our first accessory bag. I'm feeling some shoes. I have some pink sneakers. And I feel like this might be a water bottle. Here's our water bottle. Have you guys guessed just by her water bottle who we might have? Okay, and here's her outfit. We also got one more accessory. 
It's a visor and a pacifier. So who was our dolly dolly? It's Spike. Here's Spike all dressed up. She's looking super, super cute. I'm so, so thirsty. Um, after playing the game, I could really go for some water. Okay, so let's feed her some water from her bottle. Oh, that's much better. So what does Spike do? Oh, she shoots water out of her ears. Oh, oh, oh. I really wasn't expecting that. It's time to spin the wheel again. Whoa, the Book of Life is on a roll. We landed on La Muerte. In the movie, La Muerte makes a bet with Zibaba. They both take sides. Do you guys remember whose side La Muerte is on? Is it Manolo or Joaquin? Time to see what La Muerte has brought us. This should be interesting. One, two, and a three. Okay, so we've got a DC superhero girls fashion. Oh, and that's definitely not it. Wow, what did she bring us? Ooh, she brought us a Legacy Collection Edition of Zibaba. He's all fancy schmancy and he's got moving skeletons on his head. Let's check out the back. Here are the other ones we can get. We can get Manolo, Maria, and Zibaba. Only three of them. So it's the special bunch. We got Zibaba. Let's get inside the box. Here is his dragon staff. And let's give him his wings. There's one, and here's two. So here he is with his two ginormous wings. And he's actually got a pretty cool stand that we can get him on. And here he goes, he's got all moving parts. He's really poseable. His arms move, his head moves. He's even got little tiny pieces that move on him. That is a lot of really cool detail. And his wings move too. Okay, so let's see which DC superhero girl we get. Let's pop the top. Oh, I see some glitter. Whoa, looks like we got a glittery version of Harley Quinn. Check out how cool her hair looks. So here's the collector's guide. We've got all of our My Little Pony stuff, LPS. We've even got Barbie. And here goes our superhero girls. Yep, that's Harley Quinn. And here's Care Bears. Now she is not squishy at all. Maybe just a little bit in the hair. So just for her hair, I give her a one in squishiness. Okay, it's time to get that scoreboard up. We have two points for Team Coco and four points for Team Book of Life. Team Book of Life could definitely win this next round. So Coco fans, go ahead and give your team some thumbs up. Good luck so they can get some points. Let's spin that wheel. Oh, your thumbs up power really did work. We landed on Miguel. Miguel's passionate about one thing and one thing only. Do you guys know what that is? Let's see what he's brought us. One, two, and three. All right, so Miguel's brought us a world's smallest blind box and a DC superhero girl's fashion. So let's get into the world's smallest blind box first. I really, really want to see if we can get the Rocka Stack or the little Polaroid keychain. I haven't gotten them yet so far. It seems like those are really hard to find. Ooh, I would really, really also be super, super excited if we get the Stretch Armstrong. Now, let's see what's on the inside. Oh, we got a mini Rubik's Cube. And the cool thing about the world's smallest blind box is that we get fully functional mini versions of the larger toys. So these actually work. Have you guys ever solved the Rubik's Cube? It's not exactly the easiest. Time to see which DC superhero girl we get this time. Pop the top. Oh, we got a different one this time. Who is this? All right, she's got really pretty orange hair. And she's actually not on the collector's guide. Do you guys know who she is? She kind of looks like the girl version of Peter Pan. Or maybe Robin Hood. 
And we've got three points for Team Coco now and four points for Team Book of Life. It's a really, really close game. So let's see if we have a winner this round. It's another point for Team Coco. We landed on Dante. Is he a stray? Is he Miguel's dog? Either way, later on in the movie, he becomes something even cooler to Miguel. Do you guys know what he becomes to Miguel? Let's see what he's brought us. One, two, and three. Looks like we have a Mower Minions dog tag candy. What else, what else? Oh, looks like we get another Coco Funko Mystery Mini. Okay, so let's get inside here first. Here is our bag. Let's see who we've got. Oh, we have Miguel. And he's got his Land of the Dead face paint on. So let's see which minion tag we get. Here's our little collector's guide. Those are all the ones we can get. Let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got the minion with the beehive on his head. Maybe he was reaching for some honey and accidentally angered the bees. So this little dog tack is pretty cool because when you slide it down, oh, you've got some minion candy and it's banana flavored. Give it a try. Mmm, it's pretty good. It's banana flavored and it's got a little tangy zing to it too. We are now at a tie. Team Coco's got four points and the Book of Life has four points as well. We've only got one contestant left on each team. For Team Coco, we got Mama Imelda. And for Team Book of Life, we've got Zibaba. Be sure to root for your team because it is the last round and we're definitely getting a winner this time. Whoa, it's a solid victory for Team Coco. We landed on Mama Imelda. Mama Imelda has a tough love attitude. Do you guys know how she's related to Hector? I'm sure she's brought us some awesome surprises. One, two, and a three. And we've got a jungle in my pocket. What else, what else? And of course we've got another Coco Funko Mystery Mini. Let's check out what we've got for our little animals. They come in a really cool jungle carrier and we're supposed to get two pets on the inside. Let's open up our jungle door and get our pets out. So what do we have? Oh, that is a really pretty flamingo and she even comes on a pool of water and some rocks. She's really fluffy and soft. And what about this little guy? It's a little baby rhino. Here we have Franny the Flamingo. And this little cutie patootie is Ruby May, the white rhino. Let's see which Coco character we get in this Funko Mystery Box. I wonder if we get Mama Imelda. That would be a real cool winky dink. Whoa, we got her in this box. How crazy is that? I don't like music, I tell you. So stop playing that music. Now, even though Book of Life lost the spinning wheel game, it's okay. We can still see what Zababa's brought us. A one and a two and a three. So he's brought us some Num Nums lights. And... Oh, we've also got a Shimmer and Shine Fashion. Good job, Zibaba. I am impressed. Let's get inside our little milk carton, see which Num Num we got. We get one Num Num, one Light Up, and one Ring. It's Series 2.1. So here is our little ring, and... Here's our little Num Num. I actually think we got an ultra rare. Nope, it's not a ultra rare. It's actually Melon Freeze from the Slushy Nums. She's kind of see-through. That is pretty cool. Melon Freeze was our Num, and our Num is, I think, a rock candy Num. Yeah. She's right over here. It's a light up Num, and it's Blue Raz Rock Light Up. So they're little rock candy Nums. Let's get this little tag off from the bottom, and when we press her, she turns on. That is really cool. It's a yellow and blue light, and we can get our numb on, and it'll light up with her on. 
Here is our ring. We can place our little numb on there, just like that, and put our numb back on top. And it becomes a really huge ring. So let's see what we got in our Shimmer and Shine fashion. Do we get Shimmer? Do we get Shine? Maybe Leah? Oh, okay, we've got it open already. And oh, here she is, it's Zeta. And she's got really, really long hair that we could flip over. It's actually not all that squishy. So I'd give her a one. Well, it's the end of our show. I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome spinning wheel game of Coco versus Book of Life. Both movies are amazing. If you haven't watched them, definitely do. Both movies will make a really cool choice for movie night. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up for more spinning wheel games. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the fun. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.